Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Programming Concepts. I am Sayyid Nuri Dabbas and in this video, we are going to see how to run Python program within C Sharp application. First, create a Windows Forms application and design a user interface. Usually I do this when I'm required to run uh, Python AI uh, within uh, C-Sharp application. So first we design, design the user interface. We shall be using two buttons for starting and stopping Python program. We shall be using a text box to get the output from Python program. Okay, now our interface is ready. Uh, let's create a simple Python program uh, as a demonstration for this uh, video tutorial. So, I'm gonna go here and open folder in File Explorer. No, I need that Python program uh, in in the binaries folder where my executable will reside. So here I will create a Python program file. So I'm gonna open Visual Studio Code. Okay, I'm going to open this folder. And create a new file. I will call this file script.py. I'm going to import time. Now for just demonstration, uh, I am printing some uh, something. So this is a uh, first output from Python. Then after some time, Three seconds. I'm going to print something else. 
second output from Python time sleep again after three seconds I'm gonna print third output from Python okay let's save this file and open terminal and run this file to check if there were any errors python script dot py Okay, I think it's not three seconds, it's 3000 seconds. I thought the input time is in milliseconds, but I'm wrong. So let's abort this and save it again and then run this again. First output, second output. And third output. Okay, that's it. So now we have created a, a simple uh, Python program for demonstration, and I'm gonna run this from uh, C sharp. So let's get back to C sharp code, and uh, now I'm gonna tell you that there are two methods for uh, running a Python program in C sharp. First is run the program and then wait for the program to exit so when python program exits then read everything from the output window and the other method is uh, read the output live from python program so uh, as soon as something is uh, printed uh, it is uh, displayed or it is read by a secure program so first uh, let me do this using the first method so we do this using uh, system diagnostics process so I'm gonna uh, write the command equals uh, python and then uh, sorry not python the name of the script is script.py that's it. Now I'm going to create the process which is system diagnostics process. I'm going to name it uh, process equals new process. Okay. Now uh, process.info file name is so the file name is python dot executable process argument argument so process start info arguments equal cmd and then we have start information redirect standard output so this will redirect uh, everything that is output from python to this c -sharp program also we need to redirect errors so if any error is occurs it is also read by c sharp program so now we're gonna uh, 
write about the uh, event um, when error is received so we can insert a new uh, event whenever the error is received okay then we have process uh, output data received okay this event is responsible for reading um, output from python program okay let's see then we process start so this will start the process and um, process and begin error read line so this will start reading the errors process begin output read line and this will start reading the output where output data is received um, we can write the output to uh, text box so e data to string and we put the we put this data into text box output so text box output text equals this okay so whenever we receive error message let me insert a new line also so the next time the output is received it is written in the next line environment new line and here um, text box output text equals e data to string okay uh, that's it uh, let's um, okay I missed one argument uh, process dot information use shall execute false let's try it again Okay, it printed the third output only and exited. Now let's troubleshoot the process start in food create no window and as I am uh, doing this for live output reading then I need to insert dash u before the name of the script so let's try this again so first output from python second output from python and then we have third output from python okay but i'm overriding the output so i need to add the plus sign before assignment operator 
so it is inserted into the existing uh, output text start first output second output and then third output now I'm gonna uh, make this process uh, stopable when we click on the stop event to do this I need to declare this process globally Control X and then here okay now when we click on stop process kill so this process will be killed first output second and then I stop it so you can see I didn't get the uh, third output because I stopped the process okay so that's how we uh, read the live output from Python so as I told you that there is another way to read the output and that is to wait for the program to exit and then read everything from the output window at the end uh, after the Python script has been uh, closed so to do that I'm gonna remove these lines and then I'm gonna use uh, system input output stream reader I'm gonna call it uh, reader equals process standard output then uh, process uh, wait for exit then I'm going to check if process has exited here I'm going to write the uh, text so text box output text equals my sorry um, reader read to end okay and now we need to run the process so uh, process dot okay let's run this and see what happens So I'm going to start the process, it will start the process and wait for the process to exit. And then when the process exits, it's read the whole output from the Python program and is then uh, displayed here. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, thank you for watching the video.